Hey everybody, it is Kim Peterson here of Uniquely Savvy and say so yeah, I was um, just talking with my good friend Lila and she is um, job shadowing me today and we were talking about various different aspects of my role as a personal brand and style strategist and uh, trainer and coach and we started talking about how to build a wardrobe and if you hear any panting that is of course the doctor dr prescott yes go ahead and zoom down to him dr prescott he's working hard with us today too but we thought we would do a little segment on how to build a wardrobe um, whether it's for you or your child as you're headed back to school, whether it's like my executive client who just lost 50 pounds, we celebrate that and is, and is in need of creating a whole new wardrobe, or if you're like me who needed to create a puppy mama on the go wardrobe, um, I thought I'd give you some tips and some ideas as to how you can build a cohesive wardrobe and share with you a little bit of why that's important in how it produces more confidence and more ease for you to get dressed every day. So as you can tell here today, I am very casually dressed because I'm gonna use myself as an example. If you don't know, I want to say that I um, got a puppy uh, probably about four months ago now. And before I got this puppy, um, number one, I didn't know what I was getting into. But before I got this puppy, I was always in my four inch heels and my dresses and accessorized to the nines. Uh, and about three days before my husband and I flew to Toronto to get our precious little Bernadoodle, I thought, you know what, I need to uh, create a wardrobe. And so it was the smartest thing I did. It was the best thing I did. And I just moved into action very quickly. So if you're in the position to where you need to update or create a new wardrobe for you, I wanna give you some quick pointers. Um, number one, what I want to recommend is, is that you take your um, body measurements, but you look at the best practices for how to uh, pick the styles that best fit to flatter your unique shape. Um, when, when I find, what I find for my clients is when they're wearing clothes that fit well, it just changes and elevates their entire levels of confidence. So. Um, you know, you don't have to do a full uh, evaluation, but you, what you really want to know is what uh, styles look best in terms of necklines and what are the lengths that look best to support your shape and what style of pants, whether that's, you know, denim or uh, yoga pants. Uh, what are those best styles for you? And by the way, also, what are the best fabrics for you? You know, because certain fabrics will add volume and that might be something you want to do and other fabrics can help you look a lot trimmer and uh, slimmer if that is something you're interested in as well um, so that's what I did as I as I looked at my frame and I decided okay these are the necklines I want for my frame I'm broad through the shoulders I'm curvy through the bust line have a smaller waist and curvier through the hips I definitely wanted necklines on all of my mommy uh, clothes that were narrowing through this area. So north, south, uh, v-necks or scoop necks. Um, definitely best lengths for me for my entire uh, build is going to be either sleeveless or long sleeve, maybe short sleeve, but really wanted to avoid the cap sleeves. And certainly what is true for me as well as is that I'm really curvy on the bottom half. And so uh, I love to celebrate my curves. The best um, yoga pant for me would be that bootleg but if I wanted to wear this little um, pant that that's more narrowing I definitely wanted to make sure that I got the right lengths of tops which I didn't have so after um, after identifying what was gonna work best for me in terms of shape I looked at colors now this was a big job I was hearing, you know, walking your dog, playing your dog, your whole life changes. So I didn't want to just be dressing in black. So I wanted to make sure that I had fun colors in my wardrobe. So um, for me, that means jewel tones are really great. I can wear some of the spring bright warm colors as well, but the jewel tones were important. Now, once I did that, I looked at my inventory. What did I have? And I didn't have much. I didn't have much. Um, so I, I quickly got online, I quickly went to the stores, and I looked for the pieces that were going to work best for me. Um, 
I'm gonna give you a big picture here, is after I did some shopping, and I didn't have all of this, I just got a few, a few key pieces, but what I found is getting dressed every day was still overwhelming. It was so overwhelming because, you know, when, when the day started, unlike my normal days, I would um, get up, uh, do some business reading, you know, get myself ready for the day, head into the office for working with my executive clients on their executive presence and their wardrobes or helping people build their brands. It was a different story. My day now was going to start with a puppy. Um, so when that puppy needed to go out, it was, you know, hurry up, get dressed, go out, walk the dog, make sure that he got fed and all of those things before I got uh, a jump start on my day. What that meant is I needed to have a clear plan and it was overwhelming. It was so overwhelming that this is literally a representation of what I did in my closet and what I recommend for you if you also feel overwhelmed with um, getting dressed on the daily, whether again, that's for school, whether that's for the office, whether it's for the gym or whatnot, this is what I did to just make it clear um, and focused and easy for me to get dressed. So I'm just gonna push this stuff down. So what I did literally is I went out and I made sure I got some very core pants that I felt confident in, that hugged me in, that were movable, that were practical. I wanted all of my fabrics to be performance fabrics that I could, you know, sweat, that I could wash and wear, that would uh, dry easily, that could get dirty while I still look great. So I started out with some pants and then I went immediately into getting tops of color because I wanted to have splashes of color. Um, so I did that. And then I went and got um, little jackets because I like to have some shape to my to my frame as well. What I found is it was so overwhelming that I actually had to like um, also go buy bra tops because I didn't have the right um, undergarments for this whole gig. So I went out and I made sure that I bought lots of cheap and cheery. I didn't even care. It's just like get me what I needed. I love these racer back. They're versatile. Um, they have nice um, padding and what I did literally is I created outfits in my closet and on every single one I added um, the bra top to it. So literally all I had to do was pull out this hanger and get dressed immediately for the task at hand. This worked really, really well for me. I didn't have tennis shoes so I went out and bought some things. Um, love these little Nikes. They are um, Air Zoom. They are lightweight. Uh, my puppy is now 75 pounds, so they help me stay on my toes and get to where I need to go and chase after him when I need to with ease. And then I got a lighter pair to go with some of my lighter fabrics. Um, I have a couple of pairs of Converse to keep it sporty as well. These are really fun. And you might know uh, that the trend this summer was to wear your little sporty kicks with um, little sporty dresses. So this is really easy and I have a dark navy pair too so I can um, feel sporty when I'm out with my pup as well. But again, everything's wash and wear so I can move with ease and dress with confidence. Flip flops are also really handy for me to have too um, just so that I could get out the door when I needed to, you know. Um, a couple of other things I would share with you is layering tops. When we first got them, the weather was colder so I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of durable, and this was actually a process, like I would buy something and I would run out and it would be too cold or too floppy and it just wasn't working. So I finally figured out the right balance of weight here. Um, and then I invested in some little layering um, vests that would give me shape and keep me cool or keep me warm. But then, oh my gosh, if you live in Seattle, you know how hot the weather has been. We've been having 90 degree uh, days, high 80s, and everything, you know, all, my whole plan just was shattered. So immediately I carved out time because here's the thing is if you invest time and energy and a little bit of money up front to make sure that you're tailored for your task and for the weather and for all things that are gonna help you be more productive, um, you know, in your role, in your job, again, with me, with my dog, it's just gonna free up so much mind space and help you get on with things very quickly. So I then found um, little skirts because I don't like shorts um, too much. So I found some little skirts, black and navy, and then had uh, found all kinds of easy performance wear 
um, t-shirts that could easily and effortlessly coordinate, but I could still feel very put together. Um, and these were my fabulous finds recently were these little dresses um, because I just did not want to wear any yoga pants, any pants. The thought of wearing jeans, denim at all, was just a little too much. So these little performance um, fit and flare dresses are perfect. Again, machine washable. Absolutely love them. Putting color in wherever I can. Um, and then, of course, denim. I find that now that it's starting to get cooler at night, I have some denim of all you know different shades, but this was a pair that just um, was handy. Um, so I like these, and of course, you can pair these back to any of your shoes and any one of these little tops. Feel put together, but feel um, comfortable and practical for your job at hand. You know what's funny? I'm just gonna wrap up with two things about accessories. I talk about how your hair is an accessory all the time. Um, oh my gosh, when I first got Dr. Prescott and I was bending over for, you know, feeding and for, you know, potty cleanup and all of that, you know, my hair was just getting in the way. And I thought, do I have to cut off all my long hair? Lila has beautiful, long, gorgeous hair like this. But I thought, oh my gosh, now I understand why moms always want to cut off their hair. But no, so I just often wear up in a pony. Um, I, but I was seriously considering. Um, and use your hair as an accessory. Again, whether you're, um, you know, in the boardroom, whether you are, uh, you know, dressing for school or whatever, have fun with your hair. It is one of your biggest accessories and it really makes a difference. Research indicates that the grooming of your hair really makes a difference in terms of perception and even pay scale. So tuck that in your back pocket and Google it, research that. My uh, favorite accessory is this little um, bag. Oh my gosh, my treats were always falling out. Uh, my dog treats and in training you always have to have treats and you have to have these potty bags and you have to have the keys for your house. And when I first got started in sanitizer, I was losing things all the time because I didn't have a system. So I ran out and I got this little bag and this literally is um, my treat bag. I don't have any, you know, I don't need any plastic bags or anything to go in there. I don't care if this gets ruined. It's cute, it's fun, it's practical and Dr. Prescott's treats go right in there, and as well as my keys, and there's enough room for my phone. Headed into the fall, I have a black one, and I hope to get something a little more fallish, like a plaid bag or something, but if you ever see this, you know that my dog is not too far behind. Anyway, my name is Kim Peterson of Uniquely Savvy, and again, just to wrap up, what you always wanna do is consider your audience. Who is your audience? What is your role in your task? and how do you need to get dressed accordingly. Then you wanna learn best fit to flatter practices for your shape. You wanna understand the best colors for you so that you can choose colors with confidence. Take a quick wardrobe inventory so that, I forgot to tell you this, but so that you can create a list of items that you have and then an, a list for the items that you need. And then you can also prioritize what those items are so that you can effectively and successfully shop to make a difference for, for what you're trying to do. And then lastly, you um, just wanna shop and buy the things that are right, and if need be, coordinate those outfits, get them hanging almost head to toe. You can even put your accessories on here as well in your closet until you get the hang of it. Once you get the hang of it, you know, it's like tying your shoe. One last tip as you do, um, create these outfits and, and as you wear them, another thing you can do is take a photo and do a photo journal so that you'll have those uh, at the ready and you can get dressed at, at a glance. My name is Kim Peterson. I hope this has been helpful. Make it a great day. Bye for now.